Well, hello, folks. It's Ron Howard, Joe Powell from Extreme Sequences. And man, have I got a great, great little video for you today. Oh, today is my distraction day. Because it's a holiday, I was distracted with a lot of things. So I opened up X Lights a little bit later. Needed a little break, just a little break. But when I opened it up this afternoon, guess what happened? Boom! X Lights 64.4. Oh, 2021 is proving to be a monumental improvement in all things X Lights. I'll tell you what. While the rest of the world is taking a big poo-poo, Exolites continues to strive forward and make great sequencing for everyone possible. Because it just keeps getting better. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this long-winded intro on just what I'm going to talk about? Oh, well, let's take a look, shall we? Shall we, shall we, shall we? First thing I'm going to do is go in here and go to the release notes so I can show you what I'm really excited about. And uh, look one level deep for missing files. That's kind of cool. I'm not sure what that means, but I'll find out. Uh, fix warp effect. That's always a good thing. Fix issues with model handle size. That's always a good thing. Dan Culp getting it done again. Fix dirty ranges not detected correctly on nodes, strands, and submodels. Okay, that's cool, cool. Uh, David Prem did the address preset preview size issue. Not sure. I'm going to have to look into that. But what really got me excited was this right here. When exporting models let user decide groups to include i said scott 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 hansen my man you get the prize of the month award i don't know somebody send him over some turkey somebody send him a prize a trophy anything i don't care send that man something because this is huge if you are into the high density craze like the rest of us then this will be important to you so please pay attention all right so let's put this to the test let's look at squared peg and why don't we just tell this we want to export the x lights model and we'll put that on the desktop there we go and a dialog box open used to it would just go there and nothing else would happen but now we can actually choose the submodel groups that go with this to include them so let's go over here and i think i called this ge blah, 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 squared oh look they're already selected for me how did that happen it's like magic i didn't select them oh let's just make sure we don't have anything else oh it looks good and we click okay and now they're on the desktop right here. Move you out of the way. So now we can go to another instance of X lights and let's bring these in. Let's click on the import button and click on GE squared. Click open. Holy what in the world just happened? Look at that. Look, look. It put all the sub models and the groups on here. Oh, I am so, so happy. <laughs> I want my mommy. Oh, this is good stuff. Really good stuff. Now you're probably asking, well, Ron, uh, look, bud, that's really cool. That's really cool. Hit the save. Hit the save. It's red. Uh, but, but I have two of these. Okay. Not a problem. Just import again. Follow the same steps. GE squared. Boom. Model contains model groups that already exist. Would you like to add this model to the existing groups? Why, that would be swell. <laughs> there you go. Look, looks pretty. Now, there are different sizes, so I'll just select them both and then hit resize and match size. And then uh, there we go. It looks pretty good. So let's verify. Uh-oh, oh, 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 hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I got the finger. <laughs> Hold tight. We'll, I'll fix it. We'll come right back. Don't move. All right. Through a little bit of uh, pause magic, I was able to fix this and get us back to where we left off before it crashed. Hey, you know what? Software's going to crash. It's new. It's got some new uh, bells and whistles. So uh, we need to be the guinea pigs and test some of this. So let's do our part. All right. 
So here we are back with this. Now we wanted to double check and make sure that it included not only the first um, model, but the second. So we're looking at diamonds zero through one, diamond squared one, squared two, and it does. So you're saying, well, Ron, I have three, or I'm gonna get a third one. So we'll do it one more time just to see what it does. It's gonna say, hey, you've got some already in there. Do you wanna put them in the groups? Yes. And click, quick, 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 quick click, save. <laughs> just in case it wants to crash. Now, what's neat about this, and I want you to pay attention to this, we started with GE squared one, and this is why I recommend that you have some type of standard naming convention for these high density models. And if you have my sequences, I always start them with GE squared one. Most of my models will have the name, you know, GE, name of the model, and then even if there's one of them, it'll probably have the number one. Uh, and if you don't, uh, it'll still create a secondary naming convention. It'll add zero, 01 or zero 02 to it. The second one here, it created two, and then it named the third one with a three. So it's doing a lot of legwork for you, and it's putting every one of these in the groups. There's the triangles for squared one, two, and three. Uh, I have to tell you, folks, this is absolutely marvelous. Hats off to Scott Hansen for doing something that will be so well received from the community. For those who are really into the high density uh, movement with their pixel shows, uh, I cannot look. I'm, I have to just stand up. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yes. I'm telling you, I haven't been this excited about a, a feature in X Lights uh, since probably uh, Warp or something way, way back. So I am delighted to see this. And I hope you make good use of this uh, for your shows. It works brilliantly. And uh, I'll continue testing. If I find any hiccups anywhere, and I don't think I will, uh, yes, it crashed, but software's gonna crash. Uh, let me know your thoughts and uh, happy sequencing. Catch you later.